Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in DBMS that is a relational algebra. So coming to this relational algebra, so this is a theoretical language and which is a base language for query language. It is a theoretical language. Theoretical language and base for SQL. Base for SQL. So usually relational model relational model uh, we discuss about this one so relational model means the data will be represented in a uh, tables right relations in terms of relations and in order to retrieve the data in order to retrieve the data it requires two different languages one is theoretical and based upon the theoretical we have to implement the practical and these theoretical languages are relational algebra and relational calculus and the practical knowledge is nothing but the practical uh, programming language is SQL. So, in the relational model, if you want to get the data practically, we have to write down the queries and without using this SQL, we can't get the data from the table. So, in order to write the queries, first we need to have a knowledge on this relational algebra, right? So, this is a procedural language. We call this relational algebra as a procedural language. Procedural language. And we give some condition and based upon that condition, the data will be retrieved from the table. And now, in this session, we'll discuss about the basic interaction of this relational algebra and what are the different operators available in this relational algebra and from the se next sessions, we'll uh, go in deep with the operators, different operators. So coming to this one, there are different operations available in relational algebra and here the input, the input will be the relation, the input will be the relation and we'll apply some operators, okay, and the output the output will also be in the form of a relation itself, relation itself. So here the relation means a table, a relation means in the form of table. So input and outputs will be tables and in between we have to apply the operations. Now what are the different operations that can be done on this relational algebra? See, relational algebra. So different operations first unary operations unary operators or operations set theory operations set theory operations binary operations extended or derived or derived operations so these are all comes under this relational algebra so coming to the unary operations so first one is a selection in order to select the data from the table so it is represented as sigma sigma and the second one is a projection 
so what exactly we required to display in the table right so that will be pi and rename rename that's a row row symbol right so rename means the name itself indicates we can rename the table so all these operations will be performed on a single relation okay so selection will be applied on single relation projection will be applied on single relation and similarly rename is also applied on single relation so that's why we call these operations as a unary operations so that means only one relation we are going to apply all these things on one relation coming to the set theory operations you are aware about this set theory so union operation intersection operation so union means just combining the all from the two tables so here uh, the set theory operations are also one type of binary operations because here also we will use the two different relations so we will apply these operations on two different relations so union means it will combine the data of two tables intersection means it will give the common elements from two tables and cross product cross product so this is also the set theory operation so we'll go one by one with an example in the further section right so let me list out all the operations that can be performed on this relational algebra in this class and coming to the binary operations so join operation join operation so it is represented as this one join operations and in this join particularly inner join inner join operation comes under here and in the extended we will have this outer join outer join right so inner join in the inner join again theta join and another one is a natural join natural join and here left outer join right outer join full outer join full outer join and also some aggregate functions there will be some aggregate aggregate functions so that comes under that comes under this extended right and coming to this one inner join and division division operation division operation means this one and here uh, here uh, we'll be having one more called uh, minus or a set difference or set difference so it is nothing but a minus right so these are all the operations that can be perform performed on a relational algebra so unary operations set theory operations binary operations and extended or a derived operations so unary operation selection projection and renaming uh, set theory operations union intersection uh, cross product and uh, minus and here it is a uh, sorry see join and division operation in in join there are two two categories of joins inner join and outer join and here we comes under inner join and in that inner join again it is it can be implemented with the two ways one is a theta join another one is a natural join and coming to the extended or derived operations the outer join in the outer join there are three categories left outer join right outer join and full outer join and some aggregate functions we comes under here so here once again i am repeating so in this relational algebra the input will be the relation that means a table and the output will be also the relation right so unary set theory operations binary and extended or derived operations so let's stop here in the next session we'll start with the unary operations of relational algebra right so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much